Josh, do comedy. Brilliant. Hello and welcome to Tickled Ribs Weekly News number four. If you'd like to like and subscribe our videos, that'd be incredibly helpful. We'll also go and follow us on Facebook and on Twitter. Just go into your search bar, type in Tickled Ribs and we should show up. So the guys at Naughty Dog appear to have made a little bit of a screw up in their last live stream involving talking about Uncharted 4. Whilst talking about the facial recognition they used, Eric Molaselli may have let slip that The Last of Us 2 will be hitting us at some time, maybe 2016 or 2017. He said, and I quote here, we used this in the first Last of Us. Did I say the first Last of Us? Now this seemed like a screw up as they weren't really meant to say it and he started fluffing his lines a bit. So maybe, maybe not, The Last of Us 2 will be hitting us, and that would be incredible. It's a game I haven't played yet, to be honest, The Last of Us. I really should start playing it, because I've heard it's fantastic. But Last of Us 2, is it going to come for us? But it's not going to come before Uncharted 4, so be ready for that before anything else. So Assassin's Creed news. Assassin's Creed Syndicate is set to hit sales on October 23rd. But before all that's happened, they've decided to announce a DLC involving Jack the Ripper. Now this will take place 20 years after the main story event. But to me, it seems kind of like a dick move on their part to already be announcing DLC before the game's even out. We're not even played the game, we're not sure if we're going to like it. But Assassin's Creed seems a very well established franchise, so I'm sure we'll buy it. They seem to be doing very well. But let us know your thoughts, comment below, and let us know what you think. Hello, Josh from Tickled Ribs here, and I'm here to tell you what I've been doing for over the last week. Masturbate. Uh, so, uh, recently I've just watched the Justice League Gods and Monsters DVD. Now, for those of you who don't know the premise, I'm just going to tell you about it now. Superman in an alternate universe is El Mexicano, so he's sporting a rather fantastic moustache. Batman is now uh, a vampire. Now, he's not a typical, you know, Nosferatu-style vampire, but he actually contracts a disease, which means he has to feed off human blood due to cure his lung cancer when he was in college. And Wonder Woman is some sort of weird entity that was married to the Son of Apocalypse with some weird teleportation sword. Now, when I started watching this, it had the original sort of Cartoon Network Batman-style animation to it, which was really cool, actually. It brings back a lot of nostalgia. But please, don't be fooled by it. Jesus Christ, this thing is gory. I was watching it, and I'm not going to spoil anything for you, but there is one point where a nice little cartoon can't wear a neck foot character gets electrocuted so bad in the chest his head explodes. Now, it's actually a really dark film, and it has an incredible voice cast as well. Jason Isaacs plays Lex Luthor and puts one of the best put-downs in it to a guy called Trevor. Now, I'm not going to say it because, trust me, when you hear it, you will laugh your ass off. It's an absolutely brilliant film for yourselves to watch at home. So if you do get the chance to watch it, just let me know what you think. Fucking brilliant. So well done, Bethesda, you have carried on with the hype train for Fallout 4. Now, if you guys were to go online and see what makes you guys special, for those Fallout fans out there, you'll know what I'm talking about. They've just recently released new post-1950s sort of 1950s infomercials about what makes you special. Uh, the first two out are S for strength and P for perception. They're cute, they're adorable, and they're pretty dark and twisted as the way Bethesda do things are. What I'd recommend is have a look at them if you don't know what Fallout is, and then you'll definitely want to buy the game. And for those of you who have forgotten about the hype train about Fallout 4, where the fuck have you been? Go watch it now. Absolutely hilarious. So, uh, Ed's not here for the board game news. We, we assume there's like a new card in Magic the Gathering and dying. I think someone made a new dice, Josh. Yeah. 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 New dice. 7,000 sides. Yeah. Yeah, it's pretty cool. It's pretty big. Yeah. <laughs> big. Board game news. So, games coming out this week. FIFA 16 is coming out on PS4, Xbox One, PS3, Xbox 360, and PC. Blood Brawl 2 is coming out on PS4, Xbox One, and PC. The Book of Unwritten Tales will be out on PS4 and Xbox One. Panarian out on X, uh, Xbox One, PS4, and PC. Soma only out on PS4 and PC. Extreme Exorcism coming out on PS4, Xbox One, PS3, and Wii U. I'm not really sure how it's going to work on the Wii U, but there we are. NBA 2K16 rounding off your American sports this week with PS4, Xbox One, PS3, and Xbox 360. And Animal Crossing Happy Home Design coming out on 3DS this week. Right, so very long list of PC games that no one will care about, so I'll get through them as quickly as I can. Quick Slick Deadly, Tank Zone Battle. Rivals of Athea, Templar Battle Force, 
Weapon of Force? Another point. The Incredible Adventures of Van Helsing, Final Cut. Concrete Jungle, Explosion Side, Game Time, Xenoboom, Shapes of Grey, I'm not sure if that's attached to Fifty Shades of Grey, but I really hope not. Extreme Exorcism, The Flame in the Flood, Doodle God, Final Fantasy V coming out on PC. Don't know why that's coming out all of a sudden. Else Heart Break, Missing Translation, Grand Ages Medieval, Shoppy Meat, Steam Edition, Project Taravon Mars Colony Frontier, uh, Eveladin? Who knows what I've written down, but I think it's Eveladin. Packers Beat and Blowy Fish. Those are the PC games coming out this week. So go grab them first, help some indie gamers, why not? So please like and subscribe on our videos. Comment down below, that would be really helpful. And also go follow us on Facebook and Twitter. We told you how at the start of the video, so if you're still with us, top job. So we'll see you next week. I'm going to try comedy again. I'm not going to reenact your sex life. Solid. <laughs>